I didn't have a lot when I was a kid. <clears throat> I had to be creative and industrious. I went and got a job at Home Depot. They had the most amazing training. Every type of business type of training from inventory management, staffing, HR. I mean, I went through all this training and I learned how to be a businessman. I was installing some windows and I got pissed. Nobody would make a product that would simplify my life as a window installer. And I made several thousand feet of this, these strips of plastic with double-sided tape. And I went and talked to some window installers. In a week I sold, in a week I sold $20,000 of these strips of plastic. Of what use is money in the hand of a fool? For he does not even desire to get wisdom. How do you know where the upwraps are? I learned a lot about business from everybody that knows how. I surround myself with people that are really good, that are really good at specializing and know how to do stuff. I'm like, all right, I'm going to find out who my customer is. I'm going to go to uh, golf show, home show, gun show, quilt show, jewelry show, street fairs, farmer's markets. Every weekend I have my little 10 by 10 tent set up in front of people of all demographics. Who's my customer? you got to go do something. If your knuckles ain't bleeding from knocking on doors and your feet don't hurt from getting off your ass and going and talking to human beings in person and touching them and squeezing them and getting involved with them personally and feeling their energy... Man, you're missing out. Here I am, I got this patent. I got this product, so I never heard of Shark Tank. Everywhere I went, I heard the same thing every day. Dude, you gotta get on Shark Tank. I'm looking at, who is it? Mark, Damon, Lori, no, Kevin, Lori, and Robert. I'm looking at them, I'm studying them, scared to death. And I just said, my name's Rick Hopper, my company's Reader Rest. Nah, 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 all that stuff. You can watch the show. The next day, Lori calls me, Rick, what's going on? Okay, I was Lori's very first deal. I was her very first day on the set, and she was a pro right out of the gate. So we get together the next night, and uh, we talked about the deal, and we, we worked out the terms. And so the show aired, right? And uh, we had the web developer there, and Google Analytics go on, see how many people on the website, we can go. And the next thing I know, at the end of the night, <clears throat> I only sold 2,000 reader rests. Lori has it on QVC. Eight minutes later, she sells $300,000 of reader rests. I get a call from Walgreens. Hey, we saw you. My mom saw you on Shark Tank. I'm the buyer of Walgreens. We sold uh, $15 million in reader rests in the last four years. It's really nice to have a shark on your team. If you really do have a great product, you have a great idea, there's a way to get it done, but you can't live in fear and hide it. I got five knockoffs out there right now. One in Germany, one in Spain, uh, Portugal, Spain, one in China, and it's like I'm out there just freaking beating, just beating these people down because it's a great product. Have you ever been on a teeter totter, really big one that's heavy, and then you get up there and you get you go like this and you get it perfectly balanced, right? That's not Rick Hopper. I get him on the teeter totter. I figure out how heavy it is. I get that thing going. Boom, on the ground. Hits, hitting the ground, right? And now it's heavy. So as soon as this, this side of the, 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 the uh, teeter totter start going up, I'm going to take off running up the teeter totter. Yeah! And as soon as it started going down, I take off running the other side of the teeter totter. And while it's going up, I go, I go as far out to each end of that teeter totter all day long. And that, my friends, is balance. I had a little two bedroom apartment. <clears throat> my wife took me back. I went in this little two bedroom apartment with three kids. I'm listening to the baseball game on the black and white TV in the house through a screen door while I'm sitting out in the back patio. So stoked on the life. I was making more money than we were spending. And I had love. I mean, I had I got to I loved the people I worked with. I loved the places I was going. And I was the happiest guy in the world. And I realized, oh my God, I don't think I could ever be this happy again as long as I live. Since then, I went and made some money. Bought an airplane. Pilot's license, Harleys, hot rods, all the crap. And it's fun. Don't get me wrong, but it's not any more fun. I'm not, you know, I've never been any, any more happy than I was that day. So I always say, if you're not happy with little, guaranteed you'll never be happy with much.